What it is, you guys, is your girl can like I am the OG prison wife, but this is gonna be a long video. So you already know it's your girl Kelly. I'm the drama like prison wife. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice. <sighs> Hoping because I have to take deep breath, girl, because you gotta hope. Hope to see justice before it all fades to black. Yeah, it's your girl Cadillac. Anyways, your girl about to get these contacts in so that I no longer legally blind for the moment. So, got my little contact. I'm a, this is the contact itself, little blue contact that sits in the middle of my pupil. So here we go, let's put it in. Now it's kind of quite difficult because I'm trying to see this thing through the camera lens. Uh, hold on, let me just put it on my, it's in my fingers, but let me, it gotta be on the tip of my finger, hold on. Okay, so I got it set up. There's the contact, you probably can't see it, but it's in there. Okay, so this, ah, oh, don't got my solution. Okay, so these are hard contacts. I do have a video that got a lot of views. Don't know why it's ugly, <laughs> but it was um, basically me complaining about coming from visitation and uh, my contacts when they would hurt. They wouldn't let me bring my solution in. Here's my solution. Here's my contact. It's a hard contact. Uh, can you see that? They wouldn't let me bring my solution in to visitation. So whenever the thing went dry, now I put it on my fingertip there after I rub it with solution. Okay. Pull my eye down. Is it in there? This is hard looking at a camera and not the, yeah, it's there. Trying to get it on my pupil. There it is, cause I can see it. I can see now. No, it's not on there. Vision is still blurred. Okay, now I can see. Ooh, I can see my face, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wouldn't let me in with the contact solution So or the case. So whenever my contact started hurting, I had to take it out and wrap it up in a paper towel. Then I'll tuck it into my little bra until visitation is over. Which was bad because it took the, it made the dry contact even drier. But see, it kind of gave me a chance to not have that hurting and pressing on my eye like that. That video, I don't know why I got a whole bunch of freaking darn views. And that video was ugly. Oh, my eye still, that's the solution. But yeah, I am the legally blind artist. And without them contacts, your girl is truly legally blind. I see watercolors and the such. <laughs> And I see lights and flashes. Um, so I have dealt with that for years. Really since I started seeing my eyesight fade when I was in cosmetology school back in 2003. Ooh, y'all just reminded me. Ugh, I got to renew my license this year. I keep my license up to, up to date. But I had to stop doing cosmetology because of the carpal tunnel. Like, girl. The devil like to block your girl off on every side. I go around this side. He go find a roadblock there. I go around this way. He go find a roadblock there. But baby, I still keep that uh, cosmetology license up to date because you never know. You never know when the healing going to come through. And you know I go to the chiropractor um, trying to get better, trying to get better. Who knows? One day I may be able to do some hair. But my dream really is, if you've seen any of my crazy hair pieces, is to go to a hair show. And to be in the hair show, you got to be a licensed cosmetologist. Good. So plus the... Um, Advice of my mother was, no matter what, you worked hard for that cosmetology license, keep it. Do not let them take it from you. So, I keep it up to date. So, now that we got my contact in, I can go see. Let me go and let we need to call money. So, today, what this day looking like? Number one, out oh, here is hot. Your girl went on and took her walk because I have not been able to take my walk in some days now. Oh, I can't even see my face now because it's so hot out here in the way that the camera is flashing. Okay, so 
I haven't been able to take my walk. Y'all know I love to walk. My eyes are not adjusted to this brightness, though. I love to walk, and that's what brings me peace and calmness in my life. My life is hustle, bustle, chaos. It feels like um, too much to do, overwhelming anxiety. I'm a very anxious person, and it's because it feels like something is falling apart. I have too much things to uh, deal with, and it feels like... Um, almost if I'm sitting here working on this thing, let's think about, um, Lego pieces. If I'm working on this Lego structure and I'm building it and attending to this, it feels like the next Lego structure in the background is falling apart. Then I run over there and fix that up. This one starts collapsing. So that's how my life feels. So that's what causes so much anxiety because it feels like something somewhere is falling apart, <laughs> which it usually is. Anytime I tell myself, girl, I'm just not going to worry about that. I'm just, whatever happened, happened, girl. I'm just going to live my life. And the minute I get to live my life, <laughs> something over on the other side ain't been tended to. I done forgot to pay a bill. I done forgot to do this. It was some big certification I was supposed to do. I ain't did it. Or did. Girl, it's always too much to do. Way too much problems around every corner so it's very hard i try to compact myself and keep me in this moment in this day i gotta leave the past alone because the past is gone and i can't think about the future if i constantly think about the future then that depletes the purpose of the present so that's where it's a struggle back and forth for me. I'm trying to stay in the present. I'm always looking at the freaking time. Like today is my day off, my last day off. I had three days off. Now, you know, Saturday I spent, we went to the Juneteenth Festival. I'm going to get that vlog out. Um, I vlogged it through shorts. You can check out them shorts, but then I have the, also the full long video and some parts that are missing from the shorts. I want to put that together. Um, I also have that video to edit that I um, was talking about the review from the place that I went for my birthday. That place was a day one friendly. They was called friendlies. Day one friendly to us at all, girl. <laughs> so I wanted to put that video together. But I haven't got time. So ooh, that's when my mind just gets torn between this is my last day off, right? Most of my time, my good energy, because your girl, I, I can't go like I used to. I used to go, go, go. The minute the morning hit, your girl feet went to hitting that, um, hitting that floor. I never stopped. I never stopped. I was the mother. I was the babysitter. I worked overnight. I went to school. I was doing, doing, doing. And I found pride in that. I, I felt accomplished. I felt like, oh, I'm doing something. I also was doing my rap music, trying to free my husband. I was doing my artwork. And I felt like I, the reason I felt pride was because I thought that it was going to pay off. I'm in a hard spot now, but it's going to pay off later. Now I'm in my later and it didn't pay off. So now I'm like, girl, I don't want to do all this no more. And plus, your girl can't even keep up like I used to. I used to get like three hours of sleep a night on months on stuff. Like, really, the last time I had slept was when my baby, once my baby was born, which y'all know she's 21. Wednesday, really? 21 Wednesday, I believe. Because today the 20, yeah, Wednesday, my baby girl turns 21. So we gonna have to plan something because I do get off a little earlier. I know I done spent. I told her that if I got her that necklace that she was begging for, y'all seen the little magic mall vlog. She was begging, girl. I said if I buy you this, that's your birthday present. But you already know you can't have your a mother is not gonna let their child's twenty first birthday, big birthday pass and not do nothing. So we gotta figure out something nice to do with her. Um, she is a new mother, so I know she's feeling that. She's doing a lot. She has a lot going on. She's in college still. She just started modeling school. Y'all seen that vlog? Uh, she's so cute. She's so cute. 
<laughs> but yeah, she started modeling school. She has a newborn baby. She's going back and forth to doctor's appointments. She's trying to get her footing to start back to work. But I told her, baby girl, please don't get on that work path. Finish college. Whatever you was going to college for, finish it before your body start breaking down like mine. And then also keep your dreams in mind. She wants to start a clothing store. Girl, I'm way behind on doing her logo. Uh, I'm way behind on several logos. Y'all, please forgive your girl. I'm going to get it together. I said today is not going to go past without me finishing my art projects because I never get to them. I never get to them and I'm so sorry and I apologize and baby I gotta be better about that art if I ever want to get out that nine to five I have got to treat my art as though it is ultra important when I was in school I did that my homework came first why now it's not able to come first so I gotta find that balance and I told Marcello today baby we need to, I want I have the urge to to edit these videos girl I want to edit these videos then I was sitting up there talking about dude you look this so cute on that TikTok dancing to that rodeo <laughs> I mean not TikTok on YouTube my YouTube shorts dancing to that rodeo I said this would be so cute for TikTok Juju would really blow up my TikTok but I'm like, dang, I got to cut down some of my videos and throw it to my TikTok. I do have one, but I don't tend to it because I stay here on YouTube with y'all, girl. Like, it's something about YouTube that just has my heart. I don't know what it is. And it's hard for me to, I have Instagram. It's hard for me to tend to my Instagram over there. Um, I have TikTok. It's hard for me to tend to my TikTok. I also have another um, YouTube channel that I started to teach graphic design and to teach art. And I also started another one about me me being legally blind but girl it is so freaking hard my passion is with this justice and this prison wife life and trying to free my husband until he's free it feels like I'm almost not free to do everything else in life and I don't know they say I'm not you know I'm not in prison and I got to stop living like I'm in prison, which that is bad for um, us prison wise. We do live like we're in our own little prisons. But I thought about something today. Okay, so we're coming off the cusp of Juneteenth, right? For years after slavery ended, there was a whole group of people that didn't even know that they were free, right? Okay, so really... I don't feel like we're completely free. It's just the way that we're entrapped is changed. It was this one model of being entrapped and that wasn't working. That That's causing too many people to uprise. So we have to entrap everybody in a different manner. Okay, so we're still entrapped in that different manner. Yes, we're not free from that. So we look free, right? So I look completely 100% free. But for me... My husband's still in prison. So I'm not free. I'm not free. I couldn't live my life freely the way I wanted to. We couldn't live it the way we wanted to as a family freely because of the prison situation. And my husband is wrongfully convicted and excessively sentenced. I mean, it's one thing to be wrongfully convicted, but God dog, if you still get out. I mean, I know that's hard to be wrongfully convicted for any amount of time, but they gave him a uh, buku's of freaking time to where you can't even overcome this sentence if i've done 20 years girl i could have did this time honestly but they gave him 40 years 40 gets if it, I, I, can, I don't even know if i could do 30 years girl i can't do one more year bring my man home today so your girl could be free from this like for real but i was thinking like harriet tubman she was freed right and she couldn't really feel free until she went back and helped others get free. And that's how I feel. I am free. I've never been incarcerated. I've never been in jail. I have no record whatsoever. Well, I had a record only because my identity was stolen. Ain't that crazy? Your girl done had the most happen to her. I still got that story time coming. But because my identity was stolen, I had some type of record. But me, myself, the real... Can the real Cadillac stand up? 
has no record ever ain't did nothing and i even had a police ask me that one time pull me over in a traffic stop and instead of pulling me over for the illegal u-turn i did do he gonna ask me when's the last time i've been in jail like do i frequent flyer jail do i look like i've been on jail my face looks like a mug shot maybe it do girl but i have no record whatsoever so why are you assuming like are you for real when the last time i've been in jail so these are the things that we have to deal with so that is not being truly 100 percent free <clears throat> and for me i can't be free to my husband free i'm sorry that's my heart that's who god made for me and god made me for him so i don't know how to be free if he's not free so i continue to fight anyways let's call money and see how Vizzo went. Money, I might can't. All right. Continue. So, I had to drive six hours, and there was a lot of cars that were pulled over on the side of the road. It was kind of crazy, but we got there safe. And then when we got there after visitation, we couldn't find a hotel that would let us check in because I lost my debit card. So, that was crazy. So the hotel that you had made the reservation with wouldn't let you check in? Um, I didn't make reservations and because, remember, I lost my card. So I was thinking that they was going to let me, you know, because some hotels have it where you could pay cash. Mm, I think that's of the past. They don't do that no more because now, you know, people be doing that. I can't even probably say that on here. T-R-A-F-F. -F you know do that yeah. so now you need id and cards and stuff it, it's harder to get a hotel and then i thought about it the price wise was because it was father's day because you did tell me why was everything i know the hotels are going up but you didn't think about it was father's day weekend yeah so yeah it was fun how did the visitations itself go? Oh, she a little too loud. Is <laughs> she right up in the... <laughs> so how you doing here? And what... You holding her? I got the um, thing on. So you have to stop. Oh, the bouncer thing. You know, I have her on me, on my chest. How you gonna do hair? Oh, that little harness thing. You can't... Money. I was just talking about I'm tired of doing many multiple things at one. How you gonna hold her in a harness and do hair? Like I've been doing until you called me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so how did visitation go? Did y'all eat? Y'all got to eat and take pictures? or The first day we only had enough to get three sandwiches and that was it. But the second day we did no, I like to let him eat because he ain't got to eat in a while. Like, they give him different food. So he ate good. Y'all got to talk. Y'all y'all could go outside now, right? Mm-hmm. I know that feel better because the last time when I went. No, it was hot outside. It, it got up to 103 degrees. Y'all don't have a, it wasn't a pavilion or nothing? Yeah, but it was still hot. None of the fans were working. Oh. So then y'all didn't want to go outside. We did the first day we got stuck out there because there was no tables on the inside. <laughs> In the hot. Wow. So that's that's one reason why I would like him to go to visitation too because he can at least come in and get some AC for a little minute. So he held the baby the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Did he hold her correct this time? Yeah. Um, she was crying? Not really. She was lifting up her head and starting to do baby talk. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Actually, Googling. I ain't heard her say that. Say nothing. I just heard her say why. Hello? Yeah. Money. Money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just heard her say, "Wow, I ain't never heard her do like oh, baby." Oh, she was actually, you know, 
actually trying to talk. Like cooing and stuff. Oh. Yeah. So, okay, so you went for two days. So y'all did find a hotel. Was it a yeah. nice hotel like the one we stayed no. in? What kind of hotel was it? It looked like one of those like ghetto apartment hotels. Oh, the little um, itchy bed hotels. <laughs> and how how much was that one? One hundred seventy nine plus one hundred and seventy nine. I thought you said one fifty. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. One seventy nine plus one hundred dollar deposit fee. So did you did they get a deposit back? Yeah. So that's that little one room. Bed. Was it clean? At least. Mm. Was okay. So it's just rinky dink hotel. Like a lot of the places we had to stay alone these visits. Sometimes you look up and find you a decent hotel. We found a few. There was one in Steinhatchy, which was like a ranch or something. That was so nice. I would like to even go back or take take my dad. My dad would have enjoyed that. And then there was one that was in, um, mm -hmm. what was the other one? Stay Bridge. Was that by Tallahassee? Tallahassee. Yeah. That one was really nice. They had tennis court. They had everything. We lucked up and found that place. But most time it ain't nothing because it's way out in the country, 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 country. Like we don't even go back in those backwoods. Only reason I go back there is for my mans. <laughs> But um, I just got out your vlog that you did for, um, I mean, your try on haul. That's on my channel now. You need to be getting it on your channel. You can delete, like, because you're trying to be professional about it. So you could delete the part where Juju's jumping in and my little dry jokes. You could take that out. But the actual try on haul looks really good. The lighting is perfect. The camera, all of that looks real good. Okay. So... But I have to go. All right, me too, because this is my last day off. What I was thinking, I don't want to come back today because today is my last day off. But it is your 21st, right? Not today. I know that money. I don't want, <laughs> I'm the one had you. So I was thinking possibly it's on Wednesday, right? If I can't get out of mm -hmm. work, we might could do something that night. But I wanted to go get my feet done. If you wanted to get Literally yours, I'll do it for your birthday. Thank you. But my feet, they start to look like concrete feet, <laughs> like them statue feet, <laughs> them statue feet. And I need something to be done to them. All right. Yeah. All right, then All right. we going to say bye to money and money needs an intro and an outro. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Hiss your girl money. That didn't even sound right, did it? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Alright, love you. All Tell right. the baby I love her too. Chill while you do your... I hear her. Uh, Is she eating? No, she's just looking at me. Looking around. Oh. Alright then. Alright, love you. Love Bye. you too. Bye. All right, y'all. Uh, music. Don't want to get, you know. But anyways, let me go in. I have to let my sister get dressed. She calling me back. What this? Okay, guys. So, anyways, the sun. Oh, it looks so nice out here. I want to take another walk, girl. This is my mind. My mind is scattered. Your girl don't know what she wanted to. But I want to do it all. I want to do everything. <laughs> like, it's so hard for me to stay in one task. Like, after 30 minutes, girl, I want to do something different. I'm getting bored with it. And that's just how my mind um, works. I kind of low-key think I have ADHD, to be honest. But, um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to wrap this up. And I'm going to upload this. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, work on my logo that I promised somebody. I am so sorry, girl. I got to finish this today. 
I'm so sorry. She probably don't even want it now. It took so darn long. It have been over 90 days. So I'm going to finish that now. Then I got a painting that I've started maybe two months ago. It ain't finished and she probably don't even want it no more. Girl. But I'm going to work on it today. Now. Okay. Bye. Love you guys. It's your girl Cadillac.